Dean, a frustrating 1-0 defeat here at Halifax. Uh, what's your take on it? Yeah, look, very toy game. Um, we were very well organised. Um, nice to have just some bodies back, which was which was good for us. And um, really a goalkeeping error has cost us again. Um, too many goalie errors over the last eight games and they've hurt us. Um, so, yeah. All in all, we had a great opportunity. 27, 28 minute, Efron got in. You know, for Efron, he's got to do better there. One on one, good play. That was a tight game, really tight game. Uh, we were very competitive, like I say, well organised. And, uh, you know, I thought we were going to get one back really at the end as well. It looked like we were pushing, we pushed better in the second half, but uh, the results gone the, uh, to the opposition, so full credit to them. We snuffed out quite a lot of their chances, and, and which must be really frustrating to, to concede the goal in the manner we did, and the timing of it just before the break. Yeah, frustrating, really. Really, it's frust frustrating for the players as well. You know, when your goalie makes an error like that, you know the players are <laughs> they come in frustrated. So we picked them up, and I thought we started the second half really well, and um, you know it shows the character of the team, and they did everything they could to sort of get a goalie out of a, out of a pickle, and we gave our all. We got in some good areas, um, but it wasn't good enough. Pl plenty of uh, chances created, but w what, what do you think was missing to, to have that, that killer instinct, as, as we've touched on before? Got to score goals, and when the opportunities come along, their goalies made a couple of good saves, they made a couple of really good blocks in the second half as well, to be fair to them. That's why they're in the position they're in. You know, you can spell it out wherever you want. The consistency in everything we've done this season, from selection um, through to not scoring enough goals, through to not having clean sheets, puts you in the position you are in the division. You know, you're there in that position for a, for a certain reason. So, and they're in the position they're in is because at the end, you know, their four makes two great blocks, and that's why they're in the position they are. And uh, full credit to them. I think he's done a great job here, Pete. You know, he's been given the time to do that, and he's done a fantastic job. And uh, you know, I hope they go on and get promoted. I think they're a great club. They've been through a lot of tough times of late. A lot of good people here. So, um, yeah, from our point of view, that's what we've got to get to. They're the standards we've got to get to. It, it was a tight game and we're certainly being a lot more competitive in, in the games against these bigger sides which must be a, a, a pleasing thing from today yeah, it doesn't it doesn't please me um, at the end of the day look, we've had too many injuries too many niggles um, lots of frustrations with that for me there have been a lot of issues two changes in the back four again today um, we still have our skipper back he's injured um, just got too many players out all the time our resilience towards injuries has been rubbish and uh, We've got to look at that internally, and I have to change that. That's something I'm changing. I'm in the process of changing. So, and uh, yeah, and I just think we've just got, to, like I say, we've got to learn from today, lick our wounds, and just move on to the next game. Yeah, you've touched on it there. It was it great to see uh, Rhys Greenidge and Sam Beard back, back into the team? Yeah, tough for them. They've only had two training sessions this week, and they've had to come into a game like today where the pitch is super heavy. And uh, yeah, so, but they did a good job. To be fair to them, you know, not, we sort of know what we've got there. So I know we've got with all our players. Um, just a little bit naive at times, a little bit young we are, a little bit naive. Is, is there anything you, you feel like was, was missing from, from the uh, performance in, in particular, other than the fact that we just couldn't find the, the, the finishing touch? Both boxes. You know, did Halifax make any errors? Obviously not, they didn't, mm. did they? So they made blocks when they had to, and we made error. Made too many errors. We've got to learn from our errors. We've got to learn quick. This is mortgage football. Uh, and this, just... isn't, uh, this isn't academy. This isn't where you go and someone helps you. This is, you're paying your mortgage. Yeah? This is level five. Step five. So the errors are just not good enough. Can't continue to make them errors and continue to think you're going to play football at a high level. It just won't happen. And just a big shout out to, to our travelling fans who, who came and got right behind us today. Yeah, they were brilliant for us today. And it shows, obviously, it showed the endeavour of our performance for them. They clapped us off. They gave us a great uh, ovation when we went off. So we thanked them. It's a long journey. We all understand that. And we thanked them for the positive support. But it's their job to give them something to sing about. And uh, Today we haven't given the result they wanted, but I thought we gave a good solid performance um, across the pitch. So we say so we learn from today and move on to the next game. Obviously, our next game is is uh, in, in the County Cup. What, what are your initial expectations for that, and how do you feel preparation is going to go for, from here and until Tuesday? Yeah, we'll just obviously, you know, we'll get ourselves back down south and uh, we'll see how the boys are come Monday morning and just take it from there.